Hi, I'm Jeannie. Welcome to Mimi Craft, your home for all things creative and DIY on a budget. I make all the mistakes so you don't have to. Hey Mimi Crafters, so glad to have you back again. If you like what you see today, please take a minute to hit the thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Now on to the video. First project today is going to be some wall decor. You'll start by gluing together four sets of three blocks glued end to end. When these have dried, glue them together in a square as you see on screen. Whoa, new background, sorry about that. Next, you're going to glue together 16 sets of two. When those are dry, you'll be making four squares uh, total, each square is going to be eight pieces. With four blocks, make one square. This is the order we're going to be assembling this. Take the largest square, the one that's 12, and you're gonna be gluing two of the eight block squares on top of that. You want the points to meet in the middle the upper and lower squares should be the same side and the side to side squares should be the same size. I hope you understand what I mean. And you can see that because it's on top, you're gonna to have to put one block under each corner on the outsides to keep it stable. And there I was just cleaning up some glue. In the very center, you're going to glue on the one four-sided piece. Make sure that it's absolutely centered. Now the last two squares go on like this. And in order to support those, you're gonna to have to put two blocks underneath the outside corner to keep it level. You'll understand what I mean as you're making it. Again, try to keep everything as symmetrical as you possibly can. Keep those corners touching. Okay, now we're gonna add the hangers after, of course, everything's dry. And what I used for this was a one inch piece of twine. I did a piece of twine for it to hang both vertically and horizontally. First, you take the twine, glue it down. And then flood it with hot glue over it just to make it real secure. These are real lightweight, so this should hold real well. And here I'm doing it so that this can be hung horizontally as well. You might need to add a couple extra box opposite the hangers if it doesn't hang um, evenly on the wall. It may work for you, it depends on what kind of hook you put on your wall. And here it is. And here is its twin. And here it is after a couple beers.
and this is just to blow your mind. Project number two is another wall decor piece that will require 60 tumbling tower blocks. Woo, background change. Glue together four sets of five end to end. When those are dry, make a big old square. Glue four sets of four together. When those are dry, make a less big old square. Now sets of three. Four sets of two. And for kicks and giggles, one set of four. I wish I could explain the changing backgrounds as my summer home and my winter home, but um, I'm without excuse. Place the squares inside one another like this. And we're gonna do a dry fit here. Just keep rotating them. I did mine to the right until they touched. You can do yours to the left if you want. And once I was satisfied with that, I took it apart. And this time, when I put it back together, I put wood glue directly on each corner. Support it with your pinky finger as you add glue because it makes you look sophisticated. Place it down. Turn it all away, you know, whichever direction you'd like. Like here, I'm doing it to the right. And hold it firmly in place. And then I went back and reinforced all those joints with a little bit more glue, because I was feeling nervous about it. Turned out it held really well. Here's the next one. I think you get the idea here. Just keep going until you get down to your last one. And more reinforcing with glue anywhere I thought I missed. And then make sure I'm using a toothpick and a little bit of cotton here. Make sure that you clean up all the extra glue because even though it's clear, it does dry shiny and it shows. Next you'll do twine hangers just like the four. Uh, do one so that you can hang it horizontally and then one so that you can hang it on the diagonal. Just the same as last time, you're gonna glue the twine down on each side and then after it's stable, go ahead and flood it with glue just to make sure that it's real sturdy.
And this is how this one turned out. I also decided to make one with um, the Tumbling Tower Blacks Ugly Stepsister, the brown blacks. I've got so many of these left over. So pretty much the same sequence, five, four, three, two, one. Sorry, the footage is so, I don't know, what would you call it? Jumpy? Hopefully it doesn't make you sick to your stomach. Now guys, I have found that these brown tumbling tower blocks are much more irregular than the plain ones. And I'm wondering if maybe the company takes their rejects and paints them just so they can still sell them. Tell me if you're having the same problem. If you would, please just pause, take a second, and leave me a comment to let me know if you notice that as well. This time I glued them so that they were all like bunched up into that lower right corner, which could be any corner you want. Here I'm showing you how it looks hung every possible direction. I actually put eight hangers on the back of this, um, four sides and four corners. I did the twine hangers, by the way. Fraternal Twins. Project number three is either a small or large lantern. The small one is 110 blocks. The large will be 220. Start by making four black rectangles like you see in the video. Next, make four letter L's. When these are all dry, this is how we'll assemble them. Take a first L on its side, then you're going to glue a rectangle to that, right where you see me doing it. Clean off that glue. Take the next L and glue it like that. Make another one just like it. When it's dry, flip it over so they're mirror images. You're going to take two blocks and put them in the middle to connect things. Just like that. No way to explain it, you just gotta watch. And that is one side. You're gonna make three more of those. We're gonna assemble this in a rectangle. So just follow the gluing pattern I'm doing here. You're going to start with one side down and then glue the left and the right up on top of that one. And then the fourth side goes on top of all of that. And when you're done putting that on, 
Um, it's a good idea maybe to put some weight on it. Here I am making sure that all the corners are exactly equal and then I took a book and just put it on top of there while it dried. And it looked like that. The lid will take 38 blocks. You're gonna glue them together horizontally in rows of 10 and then make two rectangles in this video. I've already got them put together. Two rectangles like we did before. That's gonna be the handle. Glue one rectangle in the middle. I counted five and five so I could find the center. And then I glued it down. Get those long sides going horizontal in the same pattern. And then I just glued on a second layer because I just thought it would give you a little bit, something a little bit more to grab on. Is her daytime look. And her look for a night out on the town. usually a fan of staining this wood because it's such poor quality but I gave it a try lid didn't look too bad but as I kept going boy it just started looking awful so after I did all that staining I went back and I just plain old painted and ironically the box ended up looking just like the ugly stepsisters to the original box the brown ones Now this was actually my original idea for the lantern. I wanted this size and I wanted to try something two-tone. So, turns out just by stacking these you can achieve that. So this is what it looks like. Here we are with a candle. And here we are with some fairy lights. Thank you so much for joining me again. I sure do appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below which was your favorite project and let me know if there's anything in particular you'd like me to make. I'd really love to do something for one of my subscribers. So until the next one, bye!